I was one of those weird people in 2003 carrying around a Palm Pilot, and I was really inspired by this device, and particularly an application I was using on it called Vindigo, really looking at points of interest around me on a map and seeing restaurants and reviews, ratings, and that sort of thing, coming to believe that we were all going to have devices like this in our pockets, and once we did, that they would be more than just communication devices or content devices but fundamentally they would become commerce devices. So that was sort of like one seedling of inspiration. The other side was experiencing a busy coffee shop that was in my building. Every morning there was this crush of people trying to get coffee at the same time. And so I thought if I could get that coffee faster, if it could be prepared and ready and waiting for me and I could skip the line, that would be a great experience. I also had worked in the restaurant industry. So when I was 17 years old, back in my hometown of Newton, Massachusetts, I worked as a pizza delivery driver. And I saw that there were operational inefficiencies on the restaurant operation side of things. So putting all those things together, I really felt like, okay, a mobile device that let me order ahead, pay ahead, and have them prepare my order as I was en route, that would be better for me as a consumer, and it would help them improve their throughput capacity. There's really a win on both sides. So I wrote the original business plan in 2003, and it sort of sat there uh, until 2004. I moved to Johannesburg, South Africa. I was working full-time for Endeavor, which is a, a nonprofit organization that scales entrepreneurs around the globe. And I was launching Endeavor South Africa. And that's where I met David Frankel. That's also where I met a number of mobile software developers that were building what we then called mobile software, what we now call apps. I started to see this as the opportunity to manifest this vision that I'd had. I showed an early copy of that business plan to David Frankel. I was all set up to go to Harvard Business School the following year. And David said to me, look, if you really believe in this enough to quit your job at Endeavor and enough to tell Harvard Business School that you're not coming, I'll back you. And that was this beautiful burn the boats kind of moment where it made me make Olo my only path forward. And I'm forever grateful for David for supporting me, but also for supporting me and putting me to that test of saying, are you willing to make this your only path forward? If so, then I'm willing to back you.